life. Happy journey. Welcome to Walking the Path. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful to be here with you today. Um, I'm so, wow, I'm so excited to be here. I'm, even, I'm beside myself. Um, we got the Facebook world over here, the Instagram world over here, the YouTube world over here. Thank you all so much for joining us. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. And I'm so grateful and thankful to be here at Rhythmia today. Um, I just got done having lunch with guests. For those of you who've been here, you know Roots. We're at Roots. We're at the Outdoor Cafe. And wow, it just never fails to amaze me. It really never fails to amaze me. Um, hey, everybody. Welcome. Great to see you. Um, the transformation that takes place here every week. I'll tell you, Tuesday, I, I've taught. The Monday, I taught the opening workshop. Tuesday, I taught um, integration and Wednesday taught integration. And so I've been with this group this week a lot and they're really amazing. The transformation that's happened from Monday to Thursday afternoon is freaking off the hook. Hey, Nikki, what's up? Good to see you. Um, oh, let me get over here on the chat over here. Who's saying, Hey, Dorota, Candice. Great to see you. Thank you so much, everybody for joining. Hello. Um, so the shift, like people, seeing, you know, we have one, one guy here who's Muslim. And so Muhammad is coming to him and he's seeing the, the vibration of the words of Muhammad. And, and I just talked to uh, another lady last night in the integration class. She was so scared. She was so like worried. And, you know, I just said a prayer with her and alerted the holistic team and they did a special healing and i saw her today at lunch and she's like oh my god i feel so good like just this it's possible do you know that do you know that it's possible for you right now right this moment it's possible it's possible for you to heal it's possible for you to feel wholeness it's possible for you to live a life beyond your expectations greater than you could have imagined beyond the boundaries of what you think you know it's all possible. <laughs> oh my God, I just thought of this joke. A friend of mine, my best friend from college, her grandmother used to say, um, you know, when she was teaching her, she was a little girl, she was teaching her how to, how to wash. She'd say, you know, you wash up as far as possible, you wash down as far as possible, and then you wash possible. <laughs> so I kept saying like, it's possible, it's possible. And I was just thinking of, Amy's grandmother. Anyway, Aviana, oh, great to see you. Say hi to Chris. So good to see you, sister. Um, all right, our topic today. So we started a couple weeks ago with the Surrender Series. The first part of the Surrender Series was trust. And, and today is faith. So faith uh, from Hebrews uh, chapter 1, book 1, chapter 1, verse 11 states that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And Ernest Holmes, who's my favorite uh, metaphysician, one of my favorite metaphysicians, um, says that, you know, faith is most certainly a mental attitude. Um, and, and he tells the story of a man uh, who approached Jesus and from the inspiration of the moment, you know, standing next to someone who kept his uh, the, the wick of his life trimmed and burning so bright, um, the feeling of warmth that Jesus's uh, eternal glow, excla he exclaimed like, I believe. So the guy sees Jesus, he approaches him and he goes, I believe. And then his next uh, words, you know, that simple, enthusiastic and sincere response to the tremendous faith uh, that Jesus embodied, right? He responds, I believe. And then no sooner had he declared this, that his old thought patterns come back and say, heal thou my disbelief. So faith then is when the intellect is no longer obstructed by the negative emotional reactions, the limiting beliefs, the narratives that come from our core trauma, our core uh, wounding, our core fear, our core doubt, right? That's the work that we're doing here at Rhythmia is getting into, um, uh, well, Nikki just said, can you give me some pointers on shadow work? Right here, sister. <laughs> this is, you know, the shadow, sh look at what you're resisting. Look at what you're not wanting to see, think, hear, know, or feel about yourself 
and you'll be doing shadow work. Great question, Nikki. Thank you. Um, and, 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 and seeing, you know, shadow work is to see what is shadow work. It's to see the negative, um, emotional reactions, to see the limiting thoughts, not to judge them, not to condemn them, but to witness them. And, and so ultimately faith is to say that everything is unfolding in divine perfection, whether it fits my picture or not. Like we have to have unshakable faith that this is for us. Life responds to us at the level of our acceptance. So can we accept that it's for us? L last week or two weeks ago, we had Taita Juanito here. And Taita Juanito is, um, you know, this brilliant, beautiful, holy man from Colombia who serves medicine here. And, and it's just, he's such, a, it's kind of like, you know, the energy that that guy felt from Jesus, the medicine and everybody here feels the energy of Taita Juanito when he's on property. It's like if the Dalai Lama walked into the room right now, you'd be like, oh my God, you just have a sense of peace and joy. You couldn't help it. And so, um, and this is why when we heal, we heal the world, right? Um, so, so, oh my God, I lost my train of thought. We were talking about, we were talking about, what the hell was I talking about? Um, oh, that everything is unfolding in divine perfection. So Taita Juanito's here. And um, hey, Cindy, I miss you too. Faith, faith, joy, faith. I love it. Um, Rick Everett, what's up? Rebecca, hello. Hey, everybody. Okay. So the shot, one of the, one of the healers who's serving the medicine walks out of ceremony. I go, hey, how was your ceremony? And she said it was a really challenging ceremony, really challenging. I got challenged a lot. And, and she goes, you know, when Taita Juanito's here, the medicine is different. Like it just acts differently and, and the energy is different. And she goes, but you know what? I have so much faith in her. I have so much faith in this medicine that it doesn't matter. Even if it looks like it's going crazy, I know that it's, I know that it's good. That's the kind of faith we have to have in life. That's the kind, that's faith, right? That no matter what the appearances are, don't get caught up in appearances. Things are not what they appear to be. Truth. Things are not what they appear to be. Don't get caught up in appearances. Don't get hooked by the seeming appearance of something because I guarantee you that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot more underneath, right? So, um, so we can look to nature as our teacher for this. Right? We can look to nature as our teacher. And there is evidence of this dynamic relationship of everything working together for our good in nature. Um, nature is our teacher. When we look to nature and we see a tree, we see the evidence of something unseen in the tree. The tree's seed had a divine blueprint, a perfect blueprint of what that tree would be. Right, And, and it was all in the seed. And now it's expressed. So it was, in, it was there in its essence. It was there in the seed. And now it's a tree. That's intelligence. That's the tree is the evidence of things unseen. Substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Um, that, that tree was a seed and the entire blue pit was there. And we know from biology that life does not come from nothing. Life has to come from something. That's a fundamental principle. Life has to come. Life can't come from nothing. It comes from something. So we're part of life. We come from something. We weren't, we just didn't create ourselves, right? So we come from something. And there was an idea um, for that tree. That tree came from life, but it was in a different form. You and I came from life, but we were in a different form. And the tr uh, there was this idea encoded in a, a pattern of the seed. And it moved from the formless to the formed, from the invisible to the visible. This is uh, Genesis. In the beginning, there was the word and the word became, and the word was with God and the word became flesh. Let's make that metaphysical. In the beginning, there was an idea. In the beginning, there was a vibration. In the beginning, there was a frequency. What is a, what is a word but a vibration and a thought? an electrochemical expression. There was a word, there was a thought, there was a reaction, there was a, um, not a reaction, there was a vibration. And that vibration was vibrating really high, it was with God. And then 
And then that vibration lowered its frequency to take form, to become flesh. In, the, in Genesis, they're talking about the metaphysical principles of manifestation, from the formless to the formed, from the invisible to the visible. That is the way things work in nature and in spiritual principle. We see it in the tree. We see it in spiritual principle. We see it in the Bible. So this is the way life works from an idea to taking form. There was an idea of a cell phone and now there's a cell phone. There was an idea that we could fly and now we can fly from formless to the formed. And so this is our faith. We know that things work this way. Why wouldn't they work this way in your life? Why wouldn't they work? So we can come to see that the process of life is constantly expressing itself in this form. And we can have faith in the processes of life. I want to read to you um, a quote from uh, Bill Bryson in a book called A Short History of Nearly Everything. It's an old book. Hey, Sherry, great to see you. Um, uh, the quote, the quote from Bill Bryson. He says, there is an underlying simplicity and an equally underlying unity to everything. There's an, equal, an equally underlying simplicity in the way life works. Every living thing is an elaboration on a single plan. Every single thing is an elaboration on a single plan. That's DNA. DNA has not changed for millions of years since its inception. Since it first showed up on the planet, it hasn't changed. It's the same four letters repeated over and over again in everything in everything that's alive. It's the same for, that's the underlying simplicity and unity in the way life works. Every living thing is an elaboration on a single original plan. It cannot be stated too often that all of life is one. All of life is one. This is, and I suspect will forever be, the most profound statement ever made. We can surrender with faith that things are always unfolding and that the unseen becomes seen, right? This is faith. I know the processes of nature. I know the processes of spiritual expression. I know that things move from the formless to the form, from the invisible to the visible. I know that I can't get caught up in appearances. I know that old thought patterns come back as soon as I state uh, as soon as I catch a glimpse of the truth. So I'm aware, I'm aware of those things that, that, that my shadow work as Nikki asked about my shadow work is to see the, the narratives of our core wounding, the, that, 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 that our vision of what's happening, we can see that what's happening is for us when our vision is no longer clouded by uh, the negative emotional reactions, limiting beliefs and core trauma, core fear, core doubt, core wounding, right? That's our shadow work. We start to see the things that are obstructing us, that cloud our vision, that, that make us confused. And we lift the mind above confusion with simple statements of truth and principle that speak to us. For me, nature speaks to me. So that's the way I access the, the divine. Is I can see it in nature. I can see in nature that, that I can have faith in nature because every dark night has a dawn. Every winter has a spring. Every storm has a sunny day. I know this. I know this. So I know don't get caught up in appearances. Something different is seeking to emerge. It won't always be this way, right? This is lifting myself above the negative emotional reactions to life the limiting beliefs that come up when life happens. So now I'm watching life and it's coming in to me and I'm not judging it. I don't have my opinions about how it should be or it shouldn't be. It's just coming in and I'm going, I can't see what this is for, but I know it's good. I don't know why, but I know it's good. I, I'll, I know it'll appear. I know that it'll happen. I know it happens from the formless to the formed. I know that things are emerging. I know that things are manifesting. I have faith. I have faith that, 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 that everything that in the material world sings to the truth that everything moves from the formless to the form, that every material thing is a representation of um, something invisible that is now seen.
this is the process of life. This is this is working with our mind to lift ourselves lift ourselves above confusion, so that we can experience life, so that we can experience all the joy, all the beauty, all the peace, all the love, all the creativity, all the oneness that is intended for us all that we deserve, that is rightfully ours, all that is rightfully ours. Um, because on the spiritual plane, there is no competition. Say that to yourself. On the spiritual plane, there is no competition. Everything that is rightfully mine comes to me now. It is released now in a magical way with ease and grace. Every Everything that is rightfully mine is released now and comes to me with ease and grace in a magical way. Everything, everything, everything that is rightfully mine is released now and comes to me with ease and grace in a magical way. I have faith. I have faith. I have the evidence of, of things not seen. Life. I am the evidence of things unseen. I am the evidence of things unseen. You are the evidence of things unseen. The sperm and the egg that ended up like this. And guess what? 400 trillion to one odds that that sperm and that egg met. You being here right now is a miracle. You being on this planet watching this right now is a miracle. Then, And we can give thanks for that. You beat the odds. You, you won the race already. Just being here, you're a winner. Walk with that. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Life is for me. I beat the odds coming in. 400 trillion to one. Uh, bye. I love you, brother. Give me a call, man. Anyway. Okay. I, that's our talk. I have one last quote for you from uh, Sonia Ricotti. Surrender to what is. Let go of what was. Have faith in what will be. Surrender what is, let go of what was, have faith in what will be, and all will be well. All is well. All will be well. All your needs are met. All my needs are met. All your needs are met. We have everything we need. We need everything we have. All our needs are met. Let's live in that consciousness. I have faith. Everything's working together for my good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. I owe you a response, Sherry. I'll get to you. Thank you so much. Everyone, thank you so much for joining us. I love doing this. I'm so grateful. Ooh, Syria. Um, let's see. Debbie Charles, all my needs are met. Yes. Live in that. Live in that. We have a big um, comment from Syria. I'll have to respond to you offline, Syria. Thank you so much. God bless you, God keep you, God shine his face upon you and raise you to its countenance. That's the lifting us up out of confusion. Raising as the divine raises us up above confusion so we see clearly things aren't what they appear to be. All my needs are met. All is well. Much love, much love. And so it is. <laughs>